do we mean what we say? And so I, I think that's a critical question today because is this a new departure? Are we going to start a new foreign policy where we truly mean what we say? Because about six minutes into your testimony, you mentioned that there was 11 other events where uh, gas or chemical weapons was used there in Syria, and yet we've done nothing. And so uh, when we start to look at that, is, is this a new day for foreign policy where we're going to start to say something and mean it and draw a lead, red line that, that truly is, is a red line? Well. Let me say, with respect to those other incidents, uh, this is an intelligence community assessment. But this uh, is not new intelligence. No, no, no. I mean, we, we've known this, no, I know for, this for many months. Congressman, I know this because I've been <laughs> forefront. I was here. I've read your reports, yeah. Arguing this and talking about it last year, too. The, the problem is, was, again, with the many of those, the quality of the evidence, the level of the event, and people were uncomfortable with the notion that that, in fact, uh, it called for action, but it didn't necessarily rise to the level of what the president has decided. So, what is that level? Is it a thousand deaths? No, it's not based on deaths. It's based on it's based on I think uh, an exhaustion. Because either remedy. use requires action or it doesn't. I beg your pardon. E either when they use. Well, I'm, I don't know what was the date when the president drew the red line publicly. I don't well, recall but, that. Well, but it, you know, I think some of those events were prior to that. Sure. And so I think there's been a steady uh, – Because we go back all the way to August of last year. I think. And I think there was a steady effort by the administration and others to try to send messages, and they were sent very powerfully, I might add. Messages were sent to the Russians. They were sent directly through to Iranians. The messages were sent.